the pregnant Barbie doll. That's right, it was part of a line called Happy Family, made by Mattel around 2002. Um, actually, it isn't Barbie at all. It's actually Midge that was pregnant, a um, friend of Barbie. And if, and if you look, she has a very miniature little wedding. Of course, only in the Barbie world do mothers look this perfectly made up and contented in their ninth month of pregnancy. They really wanted to make certain that you knew that this doll was married and not an unwed teen. This pregnant Mattel Barbie series doll um, was a bad idea. Do you agree with parents at the time that it might promote teen pregnancy? Do you think they could have come up with a better delivery method for that baby to pop out of this Barbie? And after her weird little pod baby is born, um, what do you do with this belly shell again? Oh, you put it back in so she can give birth again and again and again and again and again. I'm bringing you Potty Time with Elmo. That's right, this is one of those interactive electronic books where you actually read the book and press a corresponding button to make a sound effect. Elmo's good because he washes his hands after he goes potty and listen to this one. Uh-oh, who wants to die? And you have to push that button in certain parts of the story, such as this. Baby David? <laughs> you do? Let's go. And he flushes him down the toilet. I guess that's how he wants to die. That's right, parents complained hugely about this book when it came out in 2005, and it was pulled off the market really fast. It was actually replaced with another book. It's, it looks like the exact same book. This one's dated 2008. And, and the Mike Mozart question of the day is, do you think this was accidental or do you think this was deliberate? If you read the online reports, a lot of people think this was a bad joke. There's Wolverine. There's where they placed the valve stem. Now, a lot of newspapers and websites now have reported that this is a fraud, and I have a whole bunch of them. Here's proof, and this is the side without the valve stem. This is the side with the valve stem. Already, this doesn't look good. I mean, really. Oh, so if this isn't bad enough, that that's where you blow it up. I'm not kidding. Um, check out the back part of this rabbit. Ew. <laughs> but look at this mouth. <laughs> what were they thinking? I mean, really. The try me, pull the bee. Yes, let's pull that bee. It vibrates. You don't vibrate? A vibrating toy. <laughs> Arr, try me. Look where the trigger is. It's between his freaking legs. I'm not kidding. So what did they go and do? They said, oh, gee, people are complaining that that looks a little suggestive for children to be pulling on their schlongs. Let's change the toy a little bit. So what they do, they made the trigger bigger, thicker, longer, and black. Oh, of all the ding-dong things on the Razor one. This is action trigger. Oh my gosh. What were they thinking? And this, pro this problem extends um, all the way to Toys R Us exclusive. This has been famous for years because of the provocatively bent over at the waist pose he seems to be having here. Um, his unusually placed trigger. Um, why well, do they have to put that trigger right there? Um, and um, the provocative place where you fill him with water. Um, in his ass. So you have to remove. So you have to remove his. Oh, wait till you see this. They also did a Popeye one. Just the same freaking way. They made Dumbo of the same exact way. Look at this. There's his butt plug. There's his trigger. I guess he's definitely a boy then. <laughs> Donald Duck's official water pistol. And there it is. Officially licensed product. There's Donald's trigger. And there's his water fill hole. What could be inappropriate about this? At first, at first glance, it doesn't look so bad in the packaging. It looks like Mickey's holding the camera with his hands, and he's peeking over the top to take a picture like he's saying, Say cheat. What color on Mickey Mouse is red? His pants. There's nothing else on Mickey that is red. A lot of people believed that this camera represented Mickey bent over at the waist with his hands on his butt cheeks with a tear down the middle of his pants, pulling them apart. Revealing something. But what made it even funnier is after you took it out of the package, look where Mickey's hands are now. On his butt cheeks. So it only added to the mystique that the camera represented his ass. I bring you the musical SpongeBob digital thermometer. Oral, underarm, or rectal use. 
No kidding. Can you imagine they put this long yellow appendage um, protruding from SpongeBob's SpongeBob's pants um, to do the D? Who takes your temperature up in your tush? SpongeBob SquarePants. Just bend over, matey, and give it a push. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> he gives. <clears throat> He gives oral or rectal, whichever you wish, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> he plays music inside you, just give him a squish. <laughs> this is so over the top. It is the Kiss Pop. Here they are. This is a counter display I found at my local party shop today. You won't believe what this is. I've taken one of these little candy Kiss Pops out of the wrapper. This is intended for children. This is the actual product. I'm not kidding. This is the piece. These are the lips. There's the tongue. You push from here, you put your finger through, and there's the tongue. And they intend that you're gonna suck on this tongue. You're gonna French kiss this lollipop. And this is what I found at Walgreens. Animal licks. That's right. Can you see this? There's hippopotamuses, giraffes, zebras, and look what this says. The pop that licks you back. Look at this, French kissing animal pops. There are pictures of the animals. These are in Walgreens. You can go buy these right now for 99 cents a piece. That funny bunny, it's the bunny that poops jelly beans. Ooh, jelly beans fresh from the rabbit's ass. I think he's got the runs. Now apparently these lollipops are a lollipop on the top and they have candy in the base. Can everyone see those like little pellet candies? And on the wrappers and on the package, it says you sort of lick the lollipop, put the cap back on and shake it. Then the lollipop will all be covered with these candies. Okay. So I pulled the cap off. Already that doesn't look good. I couldn't figure out how these little candies are supposed to get up there when you're licking the lollipop. It didn't make any sense. So I decided to take a pair of pliers and actually bust up the lollipop part. There's a pull, goes right to the top center, that goes into the candy. So, but the candies are, are coming out here. So all the little candies. And guess how you get that candy to cover the head of this pop. You're supposed to take this cap off like this and suck on this thing until a hole appears in the center. I'm not kidding. I, I sucked on one of these. Wait till you see this. Now there's a hole in the center of this. You put the top back on like that and you shake it upside down like this. And all the candy comes out. It makes a mess when you take this cap off. Literally, if you pull this cap up right now, all those candy just goes right on the floor. A bad design to begin with. So this is it. This is the effect. There's the hole in the top center. There's the little herpes now all over the end of it. Is this the sickest candy you have ever seen intended for children in your life? Be warned, this is the scariest thing you've ever heard.